is Devo, Devo, Devo with the gloves. Make sure you like and subscribe. What is up, you guys that are watching my channel? I'm Devo, and today is Thursday, the 23rd of March. How are you guys doing today? What is your mood for today? Comment down below. But yeah, today I'm just gonna do a quick little haul onto a couple stores, so I haven't been to in a while. And um, I found some new things, and I found out that the, our mall, well, the mall in Columbus, is getting some type of progress done or something, because they have like, the whole front is, has been bulldozed. I'm like, about time, this, this what was it, 20 something million dollar grant that the mall had gotten from the news and everywhere. By the time they start doing something to the actual mall, instead of just moving places out of the mall, like they moved to Hibachi Buffet out of the mall and they moved into an old Ryan's building. I'm like, so we're getting a grant instead of adding things to the mall, we're taking stuff out of the mall, make it make sense. And then the parking lot up at the mall is like a pothole city. Hey, um, what, what's the other word? They have more than just potholes. They, they, they more, more Jordan, more like sinkholes, especially by the Chick-fil-A. Cause the Chick-fil-A area, you guys know the Chick-fil-A is like the worst part to go if you're trying to go to the mall. Don't go that way, just go the regular way. Do not go the way behind Chick-fil-A. You will get your car towed just by going through them potholes. You cannot miss them if you wanted to. Even if you wanted to miss them, you cannot. But yeah, I'll be glad to see they finally do something to the actual mall instead of just moving things out of the mall. Let's bring more stuff into the mall. But let's get into this video. From Dollar Tree, I got a lot of things up in there that I haven't seen on anybody's channel or anybody's haul. So, Bear with me because the lady in the store, she was even shocked. She was like, oh, we got these, these are thick. I'm like, yeah, these are the ones we use at, at, um, at work. First thing we got are these GRX Comfort Fit Performance X Large Men Gloves. It's the cut series. It's cut resistant, durable, and dip coated palm. And it's cut level of A4, whatever that means. And um, it says automotive, glass, and bottle handling, warehouse, and construction. These are the ones we have to use. They're like super thick. She was even shocked. She's like, I'm about to grab me a cup of these because I know they're going to buy them. And I was like, yeah. I've I never seen these in there either. But hey, that's what they look like. They had the, um, their brand on there too, like right behind it. But I'm like, look, that brand's too cheap and it's like see-through. I was like, I say, oh yeah, this is a good quality. It's thick. My dad probably need a pair of this and he's about to work on this car. Oh, well, when I'm working on the car too, everybody need a pair. If you work on cars and stuff, if you want to be, if you're, if you're trying to be, save money and be efficient and you do stuff yourself, like change your oil and do it when you when a cold come on on your car and you like, oh, it's going to cost too much to go to the shop. So you look it up on YouTube and what my uncle Ill used to say, Google it, Google it, Google it too. And work on your own self. That's self-empowering, self-determination. And that's being the best as you can be. But yeah, these are the gloves. They're like a lime green and blue. I got about a couple pairs of those, guys. I said, huh? I, I need these, because I, when I work about working on the car, majority of the time I cut my hand, and I know it. So I get back in the house and put some alcohol on my hands, make sure I sterilize them. But next thing, how many guys, how many of you guys are like that? You don't know you have a cut, so you get back into the house and wash your hands with something that has like alcohol in it and it burns. But next thing I got, comment down below. Next thing I got is this wind chime by Shore Living. I was like, this is something new. You go outside. It says N68. Degrees, I guess. And it says beach. I was like, ah. Oh. There was a little beach. And outside, you can hear this. You can hear this. It's going to be swinging now. Here. Hey, Brown. And she was talking about this too. She was like, oh, I ain't seen these. Oh, I'm going to smack me up with these too. This is a beach one too. It says, 55. I said, huh. They both do the same thing. It's like four something, I think. I don't know. But I know it's gonna make a loud banging noise when that wind hits against it. So that's something new. I said, uh-huh. Next thing I got from Dollar Tree. Cheers to Tree Shares. They really have these. I know they're not new, but 22 in the pack can't be there for a dollar because I don't know if these are huge or anywhere else, hardly. Not even in the grocery stores. All that's the same cause, but these are gonna be for like the church. Either for a backdrop, or just for the actual table cost for what we eat at in the church. And the fellowship, whatever you call it. But we have this on the church now. You're probably gonna see it in a future vlog, but yeah, it's like, I think it's, the table cost, the middle piece of the table is, is white, 
and the sides hang down polka dotted. And it's like a nice design to have. It don't look cheap either on your table at the church, so people don't think it's cheap. And they have this one also. They both the same thing. It's like, it's white in the middle, like the top part of the table, like this part of the table is white. But then on the sides, it's this floral pattern. And they look really nice and not cheap. Make sure you double it underneath with like a basic white tablecloth that you can get from Dollar Tree as well. Just double it to give you more cushion and it won't be as see-through, but yeah. Next thing I got, I was like, oh, this is new. And for kids for Easter. Remember back in the day when they used to have these, they were never a dollar. But they got these now, I thought, ah, is our Easter flying disc? You have to pull them and the disc would just fly from there. How many guys, how many of you guys remember that? Comment down below, cause that's a big back, it's a big back. Yeah, they got the um, carrot and the Easter bunny flying disc. I remember mean, back in the day, it didn't look like that, but there's something to that. Okay, from moving on to the next store, I just want to. Let me show you guys, you guys, you guys. So last Sunday, you 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 may not know, but we at the church, we ate at the church, and um, I had about me and my both we went to Kroger. You saw it in my previous vlog. We went to Kroger, and we just happened to catch the clearance sale. That we never even go to Columbus like that, but the main time we go to Columbus early in the morning, it was like right when it opened, she has fully stopped. The whole fridge like fully stopped, and it was all clearance. I said, ah. Uh, it wasn't because it was expired because they were trying to get new stuff to the spots that it was taking it up. So they just put on clearance. So they're gonna add the new stuff and put that out. I guess they had like overstock and stuff didn't expire for like 2024, year 2024. But yeah, so um, I'm thinking that I brought my lasagna to church that I bought, it was like 179 on clearance, but it was not on expired. It inspired the 2024, year 2024. I'm thinking I brought that to the church, you guys. Um, Why, did, why me? I bring my mom's lasagna that wasn't on sale that she got from a whole nother store, you guys. A whole nother store. And I'm like, oh boy. And I get back to the house and she would not leave that down. I told myself, you cook my lasagna. I've been waiting on that lasagna for the longest. Everybody don't sell that lasagna. And now, and now y'all don't took it to church. I didn't get to eat it. You would take it to the church the Sunday I didn't go or I didn't plan to go. I said, oh Lord, let me go hunt for it. So I finally found it. It wasn't cheap. I know Marie kind of did these. It's an Italiano meat lasagna, meal and share. Freshly made lasagna layer with savory marinara, meat sauce, four cheeses and herbs. Mm. I didn't, it, was, it wasn't really my forte because it was like tart. I've had better, but I guess you want this one so bad. Everybody has different appetites. Everybody has different ways to, that they think the food tastes, so. It was like six, seven dollars, I think. Seven dollars and three cents. To be back. Moving on to bargain hunt. I got some marshmallows, mini marshmallows. This is 75 cents. Make rice krispie treats with because I have some cinnamon sugar flavored rice krispies. It tastes terrible alone, so I'm thinking yeah, maybe I can just make them to rice krispie treats and it'll be better because it tastes so bad. But yeah, these are 75 cents. And I saw they had them in the store, the cinnamon rice krispie treats in the box one that you can just buy individual packs even like that. But I said, let me make some at home so I already got all the ingredients. I got two packs of those. And these right here are new, I said, a dollar? It's Celestial season Seasonings, Cold Brew Iced Tea, Red, White, and Blueberry, Naturally Flavored Herbal Tea. It says brews in cold water in minutes and it's caffeine free. And it makes 18 glasses. I said, huh? I ain't never seen them like this, not for no dollar. Not for no dollar. Have y'all seen this? Comment down below. Have you seen anything about this brand? Comment down below. And they also had, I know my mom would love this, so I got two, her two of these. I said, oh yeah, because she she the one to get to the time we go to sign it. She used to get the half of them and has iced tea. And she'd be chugging it down like it was water. But um, yeah, it's the cold brew, the same brand, you guys. It's cold brew, half and half, black tea, and lemonade flavoring. This is natural, so. Brews in cold water in minutes. It makes 18 glasses as well. And, uh, and contains caffeine, so. I'm trying to show you guys, but it keeps focusing on my face. Have lemonade and have iced tea. So you're getting two in one. And next thing I got, I got these from the bin. The bin, everything in the bin was $3. You've seen my bin video from Park Hunt in a previous vlog. But yeah, let me show you what I got in the bin. It's $3. 
like that. Uh -huh. A lot of people drink coffee in this house. Well, me, my mom, my dad, Brianna sometimes drink coffee. Come on, he'll drink hot cocoa or anything like that or cappuccino. Oh yeah, we got, I got this mug holder tree. It was $3 in a bin. I didn't know they had the bins anymore because I've been going there a couple times. Didn't see no bins. It's a six hooks mug holder tree. Organize your kitchen countertop. It's modern, minimalistic style. That's how it looks. I said, uh, we ain't gotta go in the cabinet. People come over, they ain't gotta go in the cabinet. Look at all your stuff. Cause you got it out already. But yeah, that was $3. So I said, oh, I had to go get a bug because I said, ooh, I had one of the trash cans years ago. It's a brown, it has like a little dip on top, but it was $2. Trash can, and you push the pedal. Ooh. So, please don't let him get it, please don't get it. I had to go get a bug because please don't let him get it, please don't let him get it. This dude over here was just going through something, throwing in the bug like it was nothing. I said, please don't get it, please don't get it, please don't get it. But yeah, this is, it comes with a little bin, you can carry it like this if you don't want to touch it. Actual garbage. I had one of these back in the day, I had a red one and I had a blue one. I don't know what happened to it, every time we move, somehow my stuff ended up missing. It's, it's pathetic, it's petty, really. I mean, seriously. Seriously. And the next thing I got from the bin are these car cup holder trash cans. I'm gonna take out the plastic, you guys. I'm gonna take one of my plastic. They both were $3 all together. So, uh, uh, he'll fix my, my aesthetics on my car. I ain't know it had a scuff on it, but yeah. Put some of your trash, like your receipts in there, your napkins in your car, put in your cup holder. Look at that modern. Modern and sleek. And it says push, push, you got to push until you get it right. Remember that from Martin? Comment down below. Push, you got to push. Come on now, push. You got to push it till you get it right. But yeah, went to Rose's Express because I had to pass time because Burger King wasn't open by the time I got over there. So I went to Rose's Express and food giant ahead of time because I thought maybe after I go to the store, it would be open. And it was. And the store was packed. I'm like, it just opened. Y'all doing so much already because I guess because the men's, the men's already ran through. But yeah, these were 89 cents. You go to Dollar Tree, pay 125 when you can just go to Rose's Express and get them for 89 cents. Y'all keep saying this hand soap. Why they even put dishwashing liquid? Why would they why would they compare it to a dishwashing liquid if it's hand soap? Make it make sense. Don't even bring it up on here to give people any confusion that it's hand soap. Make it make sense. They do the most, they're doing the least. Also I got. Y'all when I was when I was at um the um warehouse and I just bring this in. Behind. Where you get this from? I've been trying to find that place for longest. I told you guys, and I go in the stores, and all of a sudden, ain't none of them in the store. Every time I went, none of them left. I'm not gonna tell people I get my soda, I'm sorry, gatekeeping. But yeah, crayon watermelon is really good, especially when you turn into a slush, or you get back to like a slush. It's mm -mm -mm. my favorite one. I haven't had any other one probably, but I know crayon watermelon is good. It's good for your, your um, whatever it is. I know it's good for your body, cranberry juice. And mind, body, and soul. And you know they had to get the the antiques, the classics at Shake Boy. Tango Cotton Candy. It was 89 cents, which it was 50 cents, but you know. And it's 22 ounces, but yeah. At Shake Boy. He know what I'm talking about. Oh, is that it? That's it. Stay tuned for another video. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below the best thing, the best bargain you think I got on this video. Subscribe to my channel for more quality content and click that notification bell and make sure it says notified for all notifications and not just personalized so you will get all my notifications and you will be notified every time I post something. Cause I know some people were commenting and saying that they don't ever get my notifications. Probably because you didn't click that notification bell. It's like a little bell. Click that and you click notify for all notifications. Not personalized, but what? all notifications and thanks for watching